Welcome back to Tech Session Saturday. Today is the day where we Volkswagen owners in the Pensacola Bay Area get together to fix each other's shit and keep it going for another month. It's an open invite, and if you'd like to know our schedule, please visit rarerrvw.com and check out the events page. Don't forget to lick your like, and comment, and subscribe, and we'll be back right after that intro. Started pouring rain. Yeah, it uh, hasn't really stopped at all in Pensacola. I've been lucky to say that it hasn't rained at my house in about four days, but everywhere in, in town around me has gotten wet. I just happen to be lucky. Anyways, we're coming up to Declan Don's house. There's the Volkswagen up on the mailbox, as always. The new thing now is if you're not driving a Volkswagen, you gotta park up front. There's actually a few Volkswagens up front, too. <laughs> well, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drive right around the house and find ourselves a place to park. Hopefully it's not too tightly packed. Here we go, look at that, we got people cheering. <laughs> What's happening? Not much, Doug, man, what's up? Oh, same old, same old, getting wet, I guess, huh? <laughs> I hear you. All right, let's see where we can stick this thing. How about in here? Looks like Declan Don planted something. Holy shit. And you're not wearing my shirt, though. I'm not. The hell, it's the first time I haven't seen you in my shirt in years. Well, I plan on getting dirty today, <laughs> and it's the only good shirt I own, so. That's a good shirt. You're gonna screw up one of the D&D Cycle shirts. Well, these were the free shirts for me to work in when I worked there, nice. so. That's still a good shirt. Yeah, yeah, but. How's it going? It's got enough. It's in my car. What you got? Uh, How you doing? Visors. Visors, yeah. I 3D print them now. Front. I make them more durable. Mine have not broken. They've lasted me years. Really? <laughs> they usually last you six months and they break. Great. <laughs> Already paid for them. Don? <laughs> Damn it, Don. Hey. They, I need, you, you had, need white ones? I need black ones. You need but, black ones? Yeah. Well, I can 3D print black, too, so all right. <laughs> you didn't tell me about that. Can you tell me about this? What, what'd you do there? I, I'm trying to register. Yeah? Are you registered already? Uh, from last year. Okay. Yes. Enter next show. And follow the instructions on the screen. It's easy. Next show. Please read. Scroll all the way Just down. make sure it's the right car, that's all. Oh, it should be. What's up, Jack Lid Don? What's up? Pizzas are here. I guess, see that. Guess what? Uh, you didn't get pineapple this I time. I did not get a pineapple. But you got a pickle one this time. I got tired of listening to you whine about the pineapple. Well, nobody eats it either. <laughs> yes, they do. No, they eat it last. They, you're gross. When, when they heard me cancel the pineapple? I, I brought some home, my chickens wouldn't even eat it. When, when they, I, a couple of I'm not kidding, they would not touch it. <laughs> well, listen, when I was making the order and I said, cancel the pineapple, a couple of people said, what? Cancel the pineapple? You should have got one of them pick and, pickle bacon, whatever they are, things. <laughs> it actually tastes like a sandwich, it's not a pizza. <laughs> oh boy. We got all Hello. the good stuff here. Hi. We're not shooting, we were shooting the pizza. <laughs> no, we were just criticizing his pink douche flute over here, his uh, zip whistle. Because it says it tastes like panties on ice or something? No, it's penis on ice. Okay, that explains that. Yes. I mean, hey, whatever you want to put in your mouth is your business. Anything penis flavored I can get in my mouth, I'm all for. It is. Does it have a purple tip on it? I've already sucked on it enough to wear the purple off. <laughs> All right, we gotta go. Bro, I, I got a plug kit in the car, no problem. We'll just... you know what'd you do, piss off a gang somewhere and they raise your tire? No. No? Look, it's steel belt. Okay. Over, somehow overheated. Somebody stole your belt. It's right, it did. Well, the whole thing happened exactly opposite that valve stem, so maybe it was the five inch valve stem. I thought it was too much pressure no. on one side. Yeah. Yeah, it's what it it's is. It's speed, it's slinging I see. out. That, yeah. And threw everything out of whack. That's it, everything, the centrifugal force, oh, it pulled the air on one oh, side. Oh, balance. Yeah. Right. yeah. I've never seen that happen. Huh? That's right. incredible. First time for everything. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I can hear people screaming in the comment section right now. <laughs> and this is days from being posted, and I could already hear people commenting. <laughs> the inside was still, you know, it's like a, the inside. It delaminated and caved in, huh? Well, yes. But, you know, it took that inside wall, uh -huh. and it's still in good shape. It just, because... Uh, we can fix that. Yeah. Seen the way those Indian guys do it. I can fix it, just paint. Dismount it. Start sewing it. the tire up. I don't think I've seen <laughs> it. You never seen it? No. They get the big tractor tires, the ones that are as tall as I am, and they start sewing the things back together. Some of them are holding it as big as my head. I haven't seen it. And they'll sew it back together, and then they'll put strips of rubber from old tires he's on right. it. Yeah, he's right. And then they'll they'll make a mold of the opposite side of the tire, and then and put it to that side of the tire, and like glue it with all the rubber, and then they put it on a fire with the mold sitting on it. Man. And let it just, just let, it melt, let it melt into it, and then they come out and they, they wash the tire, and it looks like it's new. <laughs> India, India do a lot of uh, tires. Oh, it's amazing what they did yeah. to repurpose that thing. And it looked like he probably did all the work in about a day, maybe two. But those tires, you know how much those things cost, though. I mean, they're thousands of dollars each. I wonder if that rubber is where they use like vulcanite, where they vulcanize the bands together. Yeah. No, because it should be one solid string of wire that they just wrap around and around and around and around. Four. Vulcanize them. Vulcanize them. Yeah. <laughs> Nanu Nanu? Yeah, yeah, that. The, the Nanu problem. guy. Right. Yeah, yeah. The Nanu guy. <laughs> Spork. <laughs> Morgan Spock had a baby spork. <laughs> Man, those allergies are killing me. It hurts to laugh. <laughs> you know the cost of my replacement of old tires? Uh huh. Two grand. What? What kind of tires are those? High speed? No, I changed it to 16 wheels to 16 rain tires. Four, four new rings, they get about 175 feet. Okay. And the tire, they just went for about 169. That's not too bad, actually. No, no. I mean, I got four tires on my bus for 400 something dollars. That was a good deal. But those are running 16 inch wheels. They're six inches wide or something. Yeah. Those big steel wheels that I bought for it. Mm -hmm. Wide fives, I forget what the hell those were. They put them typically on, on 356s. Yeah. Five and a half rims, I say, mm. wheels on this one, going to seven and a half. Yeah. For 215. Extra fat, huh? Yeah. It compensates for the weight. You got more surface anyway to yeah. display. Yeah. This one is 185 on the Vanagon. So and mainly on the, driver, sidewall. on the driver's side, back, all the weight shift. On acceleration and running, because all the front, all the cabinets and everything is driver side, all oh, the way yeah. across. All that and the van yeah, run, the passenger side's it, the door, it run so. like this anyway. You see, all the way is going up there. The other thing I did on there was I got these stiff walled uh, sports car tires. Yeah. So that way the bus won't wobble. Fifty-five. <laughs> Fifty-five what? Fifty-five is your height. Oh, I don't remember. I have to look. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, 55, they could be about that high. Yeah, I don't think they're that high at all. They're much lower than that. That's what it, 17? 16. 16? Yeah. This is a 16? 14. Four, oh, I thought oh, it was small. That's no, why it looks so small. 14. <laughs> that one is the factory thing. I'm going to buy the tires that are for a Can-Am Spider. Uh -huh. uh, they're 165, like a stock Beetle tire, but they're a 45 series. The rubber bands. Okay. Um, they sell it in it. They sell a 165, 45, 15. You can put it right on a four and a half or five and a half inch wide wheel and have a rubber band. There's a smart car tire that's like that too. I forget what size it is. Yeah. Yeah, I know these. And those are really cheap on too. The first, the first generation of the Can Am Spider had a 165, 45, 15. So Interesting. Run those on the front and 195, 50s on the back. So with the air ride. I can put it as close to the ground as possible. Very interesting. Front and back? Uh, 195.50 on the back. Okay. A little fatter in the back. All right, cool. I had to go super small on the front because it's a ball joint car, so it doesn't have a lot of travel in it the way a link pin air ride would. So I want to get it. I'd, I'd like to set the beam on the ground and we'll see if it's possible. I'm going to try. You got drop spindles too? Got two and a half inch drop. Two and a half drop spindles and the, the low, you might. 
You might just touch it on the ground. Well, I've got I've got two and a half inch drop spindles, and I've got the uh, long travel ball joints, the radius ball joints. Yeah, you might, and plus the tires, you might just touch the ground. That's my hope. Because I think I can get a finger underneath mine, and my wheels are stock height. Okay. And I don't have the. Well, I don't think I do. I don't think I have the uh, the super wide travel ball joints. So there it is. Tires gone. It's all the way over there. <laughs> I remember I shared a few of my, my I never understood what Rusty's cousin was saying when he said, I got a stack of newbies this high. He goes, Can uh, I have some? He goes, No, I use these. He used yeah. them. I didn't know what he meant till I, I didn't I either. Till I realized what he meant. <laughs> you never flopped your baloney? What did he say? No, everybody's like, uh, I'm French kiss. Yeah, but daddy said, I'm, I'm the best. best. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Oh, a cousin Eddie. <laughs> Real tomato sauce? You know, and they got away from that humor using his character in later movies, though. And of course, now he's fled the States because of his hotel fee nonsense. <laughs> I liked him in movie, too. Yeah. Where he's an irritating uh, neighbor with the V8 lawnmower and stuff, get out there cutting trees down and stuff. And he'd always, always say, choke my chicken. Choke my chicken. <laughs> And then they moved, went to Richard Pryor moved, went to another state, right next door to his brother. Probably like an 11. Drip, drip. Got some oddballs in there, huh? Woo. So, Don, are you enjoying your newfound fame on the internet? Yes, I am. Everywhere I go to car shows, people say, I know you, you're the duck man. That's it. And they no, take you out for dinners and stuff? Yeah, no, no, I took them out for dinner. Oh, you bought that, so that's how you buy your friends. But No, 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 no. <laughs> at, at the Eurofest show in Magna uh -huh. Valley, uh -huh. I went up there and uh, some really nice guys, two guys and a girl, uh -huh. met me. Yeah. And uh, they said, hey, you're, you're definitely gone on the Duckman's channel. I said, yeah, that's me. So that night, uh -huh. In the campground. That sounds like a romp. That night in the campground, I'm in bed. It's like 9.30. Oh, boy. And I hear a Dear knock, penthouse. I hear a knock, knock, knock on my Vanagon door, you know. And they came to the door with this. It was delicious, too. It looks good. It was good. It's a little bit of everything on it's that. It's Puerto Rican food. I'd eat that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good old Puerto Rican food. It's pork and a lot of garlic. Oh, yummy. Oh, it was good. And then my my vanigan broke down. Did you hear about my breakdown? No. You didn't? No. So the next morning after they knocked on my door and gave me that food, I went and cranked the vanigan and it turned over real slow. Rrr, 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 like that a dead battery, you know? Uh -huh. And uh, so I walked down to their campsite and uh, asked, asked them if they could come up and jump me off because they had cables. And they said, yeah, yeah, we'll be right there. So they came up and put the cables on. Uh -huh. Still, rrr, 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 rrr. I was like, damn. Had a weak spark because it's turning over slow. Yeah. Had like a yellow spark, you know, instead of a nice blue spark. And I still wouldn't start. So the guy, really not Anthony, he had a Toyota FJ, and they also had a square back, real nice square back. Uh -huh. He ran me into town, 16 miles away, and I bought a battery, brought it back up to the campsite. Still, er, 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 with a brand new battery. So I told him thank you for helping me, you know. Uh, I'll call AAA, and I called AAA yeah. for the record, and he towed me down to Asheville, North Carolina, which is 45 miles away, mm -hmm. and uh, to a VW shop. If anyone's ever in the Asheville area, it's called Asheville VW, and they know their stuff. I highly recommend them. Good guys. And what was the problem? They put it on the lift, they found a used starter, and put it in there, so then it started cranking over normal. So my starter was dragging. Okay. Okay, so they sold me a used starter for 80 bucks, which is very fair, you know. But then it still wouldn't start. I know, I know. Now it had good spark. It was turning over normal. And he was spraying engine starting fluid in the throttle body. Yeah. And it still wouldn't start. So let me ask you this, Duck Man. If you've got good spark, you know your timing set right, and you're spraying starter fluid in the throttle body, what, what are you missing? Uh, you're missing something you're getting too much of something? No, you're missing something. You I would have said you're flooding it, but you okay. You need three things for an engine to run. You need... 
I'm listening. Ignition. You need yeah. ignition. Yeah. You need fuel. And yeah. what's the third thing you need? You need air. Compression. Okay, well that's next on the list. But yes, yeah. compression. Need air. So he put his compression Actually, gauge on there. <laughs> put the compression gauge on there. Number one and number four. Red zero foot pounds compression. How do you lose that while it's parked? I don't. The hydraulic lifters were keeping. Either the exhaust or intake valve stuck open. So what you do is bang on them with a hammer and they loosened up. Oh, he popped the valve. <laughs> he popped off the valve covers, and I didn't watch what he did. But he, he adjusted the rockers on those two. He loosened them up. They were too tight, keeping the valves open. And then he put the gauge back on there, and the compression came up on both of those cylinders. Okay. And, and he says it's going to start now. And sure enough, bam, started right up once he did that. Interesting. So somehow or another, hydraulic valves locked up. Don't ask me how. You explain, somebody in you YouTube, that to me. Somebody in YouTube land probably has something to say about that. But yeah, I, I couldn't even tell you. I don't work with those. So. What you need? Yes. Huh? Oil gasket? I gotta get her an oil gasket. So, YouTube, let me know why I would have zero compression on number one and number four when I didn't do anything else to it. They just went down to zero on their own. <laughs> oh, that's a close up. I want an answer. I want you to tell me why. You're the you're the duck man. I don't do hydraulic lifters and type four. Oh, engines. okay. Well, you don't do hydraulic. No, that that's a wild bill question. <laughs> they look as good as when I gave them to you. Almost. You let them sit outside in the salt air. Well, I do kind of live near salt air. So. <laughs> were they on your boat? No, they were uh, they were in the storage building where my boat is. Oh, you get a garage. No, I had a little workspace, and then they uh, they took that away from me. Those bastards. Yeah. Fire them. Yeah, unfortunately, it was my boss, so he's tough to fire. Tell him you're the boss. I tried that once. It didn't work out. It usually works for me, actually. <laughs> Because you actually did turn around and become your own boss. Well, that's true too, but I'm talking when I worked with somebody else. I just acted like I was their boss and that firing me wouldn't hurt me. <laughs> so they just get out of the way. <laughs> Have you ever attempted or tried uh, cold bluing? So I'm seriously considering cold bluing this end of it and then possibly even cold bluing inside. I have not. That's machinist stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure the YouTuber people will probably be commenting, so you'll have to watch this video and see what they say. I'll watch your videos. Well, you sure comment yeah, on them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I'm kind of obsessed with you. That's it. Oh, it's, God. It's a bit of a man crush. Ah! Alright, I'm going back to work. Alright, bye. I am the millipede. Oh, I am God. fantastic. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you got your book done? Complete? It's still working with it. What are you working on? The the low low um, the one the one what the one that you've been working put it speed shine I never said what is the name speed shine you got the name of the car or the bug oh the beetle I've been working on okay yeah, that, that's that's name? Eleanor yeah name? Eleanor with three E's you gotta have three E's or it's the wrong car three of them what is the E for the name Eleanor Eleanor Ray oh Eleanor E yeah, yeah. Okay. all three all three otherwise it's a Mustang. Oh, okay. We don't want to confuse a Mustang. I thought you were going to put a V or the W on that name. Eleanor V. Eleanor V. It's to be German, to be French. It doesn't come up with something. Nope. Hey there, buddy. Are you horny? You want to do a big one? Hey, <laughs> go. Go ahead, tap that. Mm, yeah, buddy. Alright, what am I recording? Carlos is doing a tire repair. <laughs> oh, like them Indian guys on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. he's doing a tire it's repair. It's my life. <laughs> it's my life. You going to fill it with propane and light it to make sure it no, seats? No, I'm going to use nitrogen anyway. <laughs> nitrogen? Yeah, nitrogen it, it, doesn't burn. It, it, uh -huh. No, it won't change the volume well, of hydrogen the... Hydrogen in it. Hy <laughs> hydrogen. <laughs> It's the Hindenburg. Like yeah. Hindenburg, yeah. yeah. Hindenburg, the Hindenburg. Boom, blow up. Which happened in New Jersey. I know, Lakehurst, New Jersey. Yep, not far from home. I stood on that spot. Did you? Yep. Did went, you fart there? Nope. No? I went to high school up in Lakehurst, New Jersey. You didn't fart on some Nazi ashes? Number one, and they got a big <laughs> monument out there. What? Oh, no. Fart on some Nazi ashes? <laughs> no. I wonder if he's going to be cost you of a long-term 
the hell hard. is he doing here? Look at this. You know? You gonna drive it home? Because then you got all that weight all the time and... Yeah, you might, you might be nuts. You gotta sew it closed. Yeah, yeah wait, 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 I will, I will, wait, no, 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 wait, check this out. Super glue! No, no, no. You gotta close the gap before you weld it. Quick draw some in. Quick draw McGraw. They got to do the body, body work with the bricks. Oh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> that was good work he did, though. Oh, God. Was yeah. it, I mean, it was incredible. It was a regular car. I mean, I don't know if that was just wait, a show wait, for wait, video, wait. but Check I'm checking that. What are you doing there? That's it. I'm checking it. It's not even Gorilla Tape. I uh, know. That was it. Duck tape. tape. Is it German tape? It's Duck Man Tape. Or is it Chinese tape? Not Chinese Japanese tape. star yeah, with uh, the. Is it made in Japan? No. USA. With USA. It's duct American duct tape. USA. The real duck company. Check that out. There you go. There you go. It's duck man tape. It's authentically made with real ducks. Yeah. Oh, sounds like it. <laughs> no, they grind the beaks and, and web feet up. Oh, yeah. No, it's duck spit. Duck spit. That's one of my competitors. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> Daffy Duck. You know, it's got Daffy Duck today. Now I need to go for a speed check on the road. Yeah. Hey Don, you got a little bit of black spray paint? We can fix all that now. <laughs> yeah. Nobody will know. Nobody's gonna know. Yeah. Who's gonna know? Who's gonna know? That's it. It's brand new. There you go. A roll fix. <laughs> <laughs> It's a Puerto Rican fix. It's right, you got it. You got it. That's racist. Hey, I know. No, no, no. We need to show Edwin how to fix the Edwin, rope. Edwin, 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 Edwin would use, use uh, beer cans right. on it. Hey, <laughs> no, wrong bottles. Stand yeah, it up bottles. and get down there and give me a thumbs up with it. I'm going to send it to Edwin. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna stand on it? I can't get you in the picture though. You want me to that, nail down? Yeah, I want you. I kind of want you to stand it up next to you, so it'd be a better photo. Like this? Join? Yeah, put that side up. Yeah, you gotta show off your repair, man. That's it. And then Good job. get down next to it and kind of, you know, give me one of these. Post, post like this. There you go. There you go. Thumbs up. There you go. Yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> cheap uh, tire repair. How much it costs to repair a tire box? 25 bucks? Uh, 25 cents? Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There you go. Take another one. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> then what you gotta do is take the tape off of it. And, and, uh, you can do a reverse. <laughs> Cowgirl. Yeah. <laughs> Reverse cowgirl. What? What? Make it look like what it looked like before, and then you Oh, oh, oh! Now you got to reverse everything. Oh, what about the other side? Hey, look, it's fixed. Oh, never mind. Came back. <laughs> no, it's so ugly. The, 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 the. Oh, you do wait, 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 Okay, cool. There you go. Might be actually less grip than grabbing it on the flats. And then it is. Less grip. Man. Yeah, because it's only grabbing on those little bitty why, corners. Why would you do that then? That's not the smart thing to do. Out of your mind, Hugh. Oh my god. Oh, look! So you need it with someone to show you the right tool to use. I got one here. It's all for the duck man. Because it's all for duck man. Hey, ducky, ducky man. I'm starting to get my voice back. This is great. Is that great? Yeah, it's great. Really good. I can do commercials again. Uh, yesterday's, well, today's was kind of caca because my voice was all messed up. Yes, that's. But they just had them. There you go. Look at this. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get away. Uh oh. One outside. Uh oh. W dog shit forty. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. W dog shit 40 is not a lube. It's water, but it's not a lube again. No. <laughs> it is. It's just a bloody awful lube. You know, it's kind of funny actually. Project Farm proved that otherwise. Really? Yeah. See, I've, I've never had much luck with it as a lubricant. I really despise it as a penetrant. I like it for water displacement, though. It seems to work really well for that. Yeah, for that. It has a nice smell. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good for uh, if you've got tar or something super nasty on your skin that won't come off. Uh -huh. You actually wash your hands with WD-40, it takes it right off. That's it. It's good for arthritis. There you go. Look at that. Came right out of Duckman Ranch. And I could have just ran this through the other way. I'm sure somebody will say, but I'm attempting to clear the threads off in the process. Recutting them threads. I don't even remember where that beam came from that all that stuff came off of. You know what? I think I do. It might have come with Eleanor when I bought her. It was in mighty, mighty fine condition. The guy that I got, yeah, I think the guy I got that from, I got two pans. One of them is now the ATVW. A beam that was from a 66, 67, which is that, yeah, and another pan that's still in the yard. You always got too much shit. I know, and, and I didn't even bargain for that stuff. It was just like, here's the car, by the way, you got to take that to her, I'm going to crush it. I was like, I'll be right back. <laughs> and then I had to bargain to get this stuff that's from it. so it works. Yeah, see? Right, Dom, we got 12 volts here. Dom blew up this light. By running yeah. screws into the end cap, which had a circuit board in it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna attempt to hook up 12 volts to this thing, and I guess we're gonna assume that black is negative. Yeah. It's not always, but we're gonna just assume that. I think that's a safe assumption. I don't know what these wires do. What do these wires do? They run to the other end. They run to the other end. <laughs> yep. There's a the circuit board, all crushed from the screws and things going through it. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it can be fixed. <laughs> I think the fact that the board is all crinkled is probably why I gave up. Because yeah. it looks like you didn't hit anything vital. But still, that. <laughs> Don! Oh, Don, I got, they don't I got, work on 12 volts. I got your load on me. Maybe they're hooked up backwards. Maybe, maybe, maybe black is red, red is black. <laughs> no? No. I gotta figure out what these wires go to now, because there might be something on the other end they gotta go there's into. There's an extension outlet, AC outlet, on the end of it down there, isn't there? Looks like there's... They go to. Yeah, see, you can... Oh, is that what that is? Daisy chain these. I see there's little copper points in here. It looks I mean, like it's some kind of a junction, so I was curious. But each one of these strings is usually... Usually how they're set up, so, so if you lose one of the bulbs, you just lose the screw. don't run off of 12 volts here. Probably not without a driver. Yeah, you need something to make it make it some fire off. What goes into 120 volts, sir? Where's your voltmeter? I'm gonna start experimenting. I put, you want to plug 110 into it? No, no, voltmeter. I want to see if we're getting any any current going through it or anything. I want to plug 110 into it. battery We'll do that last. But is the battery good? You never know in Don's shop. Where's your voltmeter, Don? Yeah, he's got those modern fans. Yeah, that's yeah. Don's creative work. You see that screw hole? And the screw hole on this side, which looks like it missed something. But it looks like over there it blew a component off the board. So anyway, uh, yeah, good job, Don. I mean, even if he didn't blow a component off the board, he certainly bent it, twisted it, and uh, that's not good for a circuit board either. <laughs> yeah, it's shot. You're not getting anything to yeah, die zero. Or check. Nothing. Yep, flat. Big flat nothing. Alright, so ends another tech session. Looking for handprints on my car. Is anybody on my car today? I don't see any handprints. No freaking handprints. Nope, nope. No scuff marks. None of the dust is unevenly rubbed off. Looks like nobody was sitting on my car today. How about that? Alright, well, we're good. up the windows in here because I was worried it was going to rain again and it did not which is odd because whenever Ruby comes out it always rains I can't wait for the season to be over oh, we're about two months away from summer finally ending here so hot and disgusting 
Hopefully it'll cool down for our car show. Yep. Well, that was it for tech session. I arrived kind of late, but it kind of worked out to my advantage because, well, we didn't eat pizza until it was late. So I didn't miss out on lunch. But I did miss out on a lot of what was going on today. And while I'm a little bit unhappy about that, I guess it's gonna kind of work out for the best because guess what? I'm friggin' tired. As I said earlier in the video, I've been up till 6.30 in the morning editing videos to try to get out the deadline for the contest. And well, I made it. But as a result, yeah, I'm a little worn out. So time to go home, take a shower, and uh, take a nap. I'm just gonna lay down for a couple couple hours, if possible. Chances are I'll probably just close my eyes for 30 minutes. But you know, that's just the way life is. Anyways, you guys, check out um, check out Rare Air. Check out rareairvw.com and look at our events page if you'd like to find out when our next tech session is. So far, it's gonna be for the first Saturday in October. And what that means is it's gonna be our last tech session before our car show. And our car show, I think it's the third Saturday of the month, which falls on something like the 21st or something like that. That's gonna fall way, way late in the month. If you'd like to visit our show or tech session, well, check out our website. Once again, rarevw.com. Check out the Facebook events page. There'll be a link to it that shows you the events. And as always, you can join our group or see what we're doing. Everything's an open invite. And uh, come on out, guys. It'll be nice to see you. And of course, I'll be there. Hey, meet the duck man. Everybody always wants to meet the duck man. Where's the duck man today? Or they say, hey, duck man, now that we've met you, where's B? Is she with you? No. Oh, I thought you guys lived together. No. <laughs> Aren't you guys dating? No. Well, we thought you were married. No. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Link, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time.